What is up everybody? Right now I am in beautiful Norway shooting a couple lessons. One about brand photography and the other about flying drones. But real quick, I just want to talk to you guys about the latest lesson that we just dropped somewhere when we shot it that was much warmer. Jesse Driftwood's lesson in Japan. Jesse is an incredible filmmaker and internet video maker as he calls it and his lesson is all about how he shoots, how he edits and just his whole process behind how he thinks about his filmmaking. So right now we are going to roll a trailer for you guys that includes a free two minute preview of the lesson, just a little taste, a little taste test of, of what the lesson has to offer. So we are going to keep shooting here in Norway, we're at this beautiful fjord um, and it's honestly, Norway is, Norway is sick, we're really cold but Mike, how are you doing? Super cold. Super cold, but the stoke is high. Here is a preview of Jesse's lesson. The link is below. As always, thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. If you want to be a filmmaker, then you need to learn how to tell stories in under a minute. So think of your favorite Film. At its core, that movie is just a bunch of little sequences strung together to tell a bigger story. And you can make one of those small stories wherever you are right now. This class is all about short form storytelling and specifically making videos for the internet. Making these videos, practicing them over and over and putting them out there is the quickest way to refine your craft and improve your skills while also building an audience that cares about your work. chance to go behind the scenes, come along with me, see what my processes look like, everything that's going through my mind as I'm putting together one of these stories. So we were looking through all the poles and buckets and stuff for something else that I could dolly out from behind, but unfortunately all the poles are like a neon red or a bright white bucket, so none of those are gonna sell the effect of the camera moving behind one black object. So I've just taken my backpack, the back of it's black, and I think I'm gonna be able to get a shot that's kind of pushing in towards the face of this restaurant uh, as Niles turns the corner to make his way in, and it should ultimately, in three shots alone, be like, cool alleyway, here's Niles, now he's at a restaurant. And then we'll very quickly be able to end it with like, a drink gets poured, he's a happy boy. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna work really well. Okay, you wanna try one? Yeah, let's give her. Uh, okay, go back a bit faster. You need to like it. Okay, ready? I'll tell you, ready? And one, two, three. All right, can we just look at that and just see how the timing worked out? For real? A real one? Oh, this is not a slow-mo shot, that's why. All right, okay, go for it. Oh, no, 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 go back, go back two steps, and right there is good. Yeah, one, two, three. Let's do another one right away. Yeah, one sec, and go for it. I'm like yeah. starving. Yeah, yeah. Is that 24? 60 now. It's like a little crooked, should pull focus there. Yes, yeah, I think that's good. Cause you'll, Cause you'll speed ramp into it probably? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there'll be a, yeah, for sure. Like the black won't be like, whoa. All right, cool. 